Loose leaf tea is so easy a caveman can do it. Or a cave woman. A, a, cave per, a cave human could make loose leaf tea. It's that easy. So, in today's video, we are talking about the three easiest ways to prepare a cup of loose leaf tea. Simple. Hey guys, welcome to Mountain Tea. Thank you for tuning in. Three easy, simple ways to infuse loose leaf tea leaves. The idea behind this is that in the past I've talked about Gong Fu Cha as a way to prepare tea. It's kind of an intricate process. You have these guest cups in your cup and the gaiwan and the pouring cup. You have all these tools and accoutrements and all these things and it lets you share tea and sit around the tea table with your friends and relax and just chill and it's a great thing to do. But it is not necessarily a thing you can do all the time, right? You have daily life you have stuff to do, you got work. You can't always make tea the star of the show. So you gotta have these other ways to prepare loose leaf tea where you're still getting a good quality cup of tea, but it's more something you're doing on the side while you're doing something else. These methods are gonna give you quality with convenience. So you're gonna save time and you're gonna be drinking good quality tea. Another tool to add to your tool belt of tea prep tools on the tea belt tool, tool you know what I'm saying? All right. Without further ado, let's get into it right now with method one, which is simply using a glass. More commonly, you could use a mug, right? If you have a coffee mug or just any old cup you find in your kitchen cabinet. You're taking one of these and you're adding loose leaf tea leaves into the bottom of it, right? Just a pinch. You can grab a teaspoon if you want. That's what that word originally means. A teaspoon is for spooning about the amount of tea you would put in one of these guys. You're just using your hot water and you pour it in with the leaves already in there. You pour the, the water over the leaves. You're, you're hitting the back of the glass. You wanna aim for the back and you get this little vortex, this little spiral of tea infusion and flavor and extraction going on. Use the gravity and the force of the incoming water to extract the flavor out of the tea leaves a little bit more than say if you were just to have a cup of hot water and add the tea on the top. Now that you've done that, fasten your seatbelts because it gets really complicated. Just kidding, you're done. After you've poured the water, you just wait patiently for maybe a couple minutes and the tea leaves will open up They'll expand, they'll release their flavor compounds, they'll release those polyphenols, the amino acids, the soluble sugars, and you'll get this beautiful, brilliant extraction. And then as the leaves open, they will fall down to the bottom of the glass on their own. Because at first thought, you might think, okay, well, if you're pouring the water over the loose leaves, won't they be floating around in the cup when I try to sip it? The answer is that the leaves just float to the bottom on their own, which is super convenient. And it's kind of the only way that this style of preparing tea is possible. So not all of the leaves will go to the bottom of the glass, right? Sometimes you'll have a couple stragglers up the top that don't necessarily want to cooperate with your little plan here. And that's fine. I keep a glass straw. You could use a glass stirrer or a spoon but I take some object and I push it to the back of the glass or the mug like that. And I clear open a little bit of open space for me to sip out of. Sometimes I even just blow on the leaves. Like if I don't have something nearby, I want to stick in my tea. I'll just go blow the leaves over to the other side of the cup. And then you just drink out 
of the cup like that. Again, usually that's not a problem because most teas, the leaves will expand open and they'll just float to the bottom of the glass. The other thing to keep in mind is that, you know, you've always heard that mantra in tea bag preparation where you gotta put the leaves in for two, three minutes and it, it, six seconds and then you gotta take them out. But if you're pouring tea like this, how do you monitor how long the leaves are in the water? Because you're just letting them sit. And the answer to that is that if you have invested the little bit of extra money in getting good quality tea leaves, the flavor compounds are naturally balanced already and there's no need to fear so much about the tea getting too bitter. However, if you drink it down to this very last part, this last like third or a quarter of the, of the glass, it can get a little bit bitter. So what I do is top off the glass. We'll just bring the amount of water back up to where you started and what that does is smooths out the flavor again. And then, you know, you'll drink that second glass down again. Maybe this time you can drink it a sip or two lower because it's more diluted than the last one. Drink it a little bit lower then top it off again. And you kind of repeat that process. And some people will drink tea like this all day long. They'll add tea, the loose leaves in the bottom of the glass once in the morning and then it'll just reinfuse the same cup all day long. It is a 100% viable method. You are not a tea amateur for drinking your tea like this. You're fine. Just Get it into the glass, add some hot water, let it steep, and you will have a very flavorful, tasty cup of tea with five seconds of preparation total involved. So that is method one, simple as could be. Now let's make it just a tiny bit more detailed, but not really with the second method, okay? So for the second method, we are using what is called a tea tumbler. There it is. Tea tumbler is essentially a water bottle. And in these water bottles, you have these metal strainers built into them. That makes it so if you have those types of tea where you have those leaves at the top that are hanging out and they don't want to go to the bottom, then you have the strainer to keep it from getting in your mouth. And as you can see, I mean, I just poured this like a half an hour ago. All the leaves have opened up and they've gone to the bottom of the glass. Just how I was just describing. Most of the time it's doing this. In this case, I could take the strainer out. I wouldn't even need it. I could just drink it. And now, and now it's exactly like method one. But uh, what's nice about these tumblers is that, yeah, you have the strainer, but they're much more portable. This is like tea on the go. So I have my little cap here. I can put this in my cup holder when I'm going on road trips. I always take one of these when I'm traveling, right? Because I live in East Asia and here, at least, you have hot water dispensers everywhere. So, you know, in the airport, in the mall, in, the, in any restaurant, you'll have a dispenser with hot water ready to go. So if you have one of these on the road and you have a little packet of loose leaf tea, you can essentially make tea anywhere, which is great. I highly recommend getting yourself a rugged one that can withstand some getting knocked around a little bit because I've gone through about 20 of these in my life just because you put it in your backpack, especially if the glass is warm, it's kind of hot, so it's a bit more fragile than it would be otherwise. Put it in your backpack, you, set, you forget it's in there and you set your backpack down a little bit too quickly and you get a hairline crack in there and then once the thing's cracked, the whole, it's, it's useless. You know, you can't, you can't be drinking tea out of broken glass. So get yourself a rugged one that can withstand that rough and tumble lifestyle that you're living. One tea tumbler I do recommend, made by the Tea Spot, and it's called the Everest Tea Tumbler. Just super rugged. I had one, I used it for about two years, every single day, until uh, last month I left it on a train. And now it's gone forever. You can look around. I bought this thing for three bucks online. You know, I don't even think it has a name brand. It's just, you know, like name brandless glass tea tumbler on like the Chinese version of Amazon. Um, there's one other way to use this, which is cool, and that is essentially the same way you would use a teapot. Okay, how do I use this as a teapot? Well, you have a strainer in here, and in the teapot, built inside the teapot, you have a strainer too. So essentially, essentially what you can do is take another glass, another mug, or if you're drinking tea with two or three people, and you're on the road, you don't have that Gong Fu Cha set up, you can take two or three glasses and you can just pour out of the tea tumbler into a glass like this. And you know, you can pour it for a few people like this. And the strainer 
inside will keep you from accidentally dumping all of the leaves into someone's cup. So that's nice because you can actually control the infusion of the tea more precisely this way. So if you are worried that the tea leaves are gonna get a little bit too bitter or intense, or you just wanna very carefully control how long each infusion is lasting, right? Like if these are really high grade leaves and you're very particular, it's like, okay, I wanna do the first infusion for two and a half minutes, and the next one I wanna do for three minutes, and the next one I do for five minutes then you can do that with this. You know, set your little timer at two minutes, then you just take the whole thing, you dump all of it out into a, the glass that can hold all of this volume. You drink it, you finish it, you reheat the water, and then you can reinfuse this, right? And so you're just using it as a teapot in that way. So that's convenient, simple, easy, portable. What else could you want? What else could you want? It's great, tea tumbler. Get yourself a tea tumbler. Okay, uh, so that was number Two. Now there's one more method. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm. Oh, I like that. Oolong. Dan Song Oolong. Okay, there's one more method. One more method. And uh, it's similar to the other two, kind of, but it's different. And this method is simply, key is simply, using a bowl, using a fancy pantsy artisan tea bowl like this. This is a matcha bowl. Well, it was originally made as a matcha bowl and I repurpose these things for loose leaf tea consumption. It's a process called bowl tea and you're just putting loose leaf tea in this bowl. You're adding hot water, just like you did with the first method, and you're just letting the leaves infuse loose in the bowl. And you kind of just drink it like this with two hands. You know, is it like the first one? Basically, yeah, it is, but it's a bit different. It's a bowl. It's not a mug or a cup, it's a bowl. So it's a bit wider, a bit more stout, if you will. You know, there's other features to keep in mind. You have more of the, of the tea exposed to air, so it's gonna lose temperature faster. Uh, the volume is different, so that'll change how much leaves you put in there. This is actually how they used to drink tea back in the day. And when I say the day, I'm talking like the Song Dynasty a thousand years ago. So if you're trying to throw it back to 11th century Song Dynasty, throw it back millennia, one millennium, then bang, tea bowl is your way to do it. The cool thing about this one, obviously, is that it's a piece of art that you're using to, to drink your tea, right? Glasses and mugs and tumblers, they're ubiquitous. I bought mine on line, whatever, they're made dime a dozen. These are pieces of art. So um, this was gifted to me by a friend, but one of my other very close friends, Austin, just made for my website a line of matcha tea bowls that are great for making matcha. Then obviously they second as a loose leaf tea steeping vesicle. I would highly recommend going on the website and checking those out. They are beautiful pieces of art. He is an extremely experienced potter. There's these three designs and he has two, two colors for each one. Very cool, very hip way to be drinking tea. If you wanna be that person at the office or you wanna, you know, just chill out on the deck at home, reading a book, drinking your tea out of a bowl, Hey, I think you might like it. I would check it out. That is method three, simple as can be. The key really with these ones is knowing just not to use too much tea to begin with, right? Just use a pinch, just a bit. When you're making tea like this and the leaves are really infusing in the water for a long time, then, you know, a little bit of tea goes a long way. That is about it for these three methods. We got our cup method. Mm. Ah, yes, great. Method two, we got the tea tumbler with our little strainer. And method three is the little tea bowl. Look at the tea bowl, look at you. Okay, so that is it. That is the three options. That is the three simple ways for drinking tea. It's better to drink tea in a simple, not elegant way than to not be drinking tea at all. And what I see happening with a lot of my friends as I try to get them into Chinese loose leaf tea is that I get them to, to go out there and, and to try it. They're like, okay, all right, I'll, I'll get a bag of tea and I send it to them and, it, and I go over to their house like three months later and it's like they haven't even opened the bag. And I'm like, what, what do you, what's going on? And they're like, I don't know how to make it. <laughs> like, I don't know what to do with the loose leaves. And I'm like, oh, just 
put it in the glass and add water. <laughs> They're like, but what? Don't you gotta do the do the thing? I saw the video about the Gong Fu Cha, and don't you gotta take it out? I mean, I'm like, all right, I need to make you a video to just give you the absolute simplest ways to prepare a tea. So now, there's no excuse for those people out there, for my friends who have a bag of my tea, but don't know, don't, they say they don't know what to do with it. All right, now you got three options. All of them are legit. They are viable ways to make a good cup of tea, and they don't take more than a couple of seconds of preparation work. And at that, I will leave you to it. Please hit the subscribe button. Please smash that like button. Until the next video, stay healthy, stay positive, and keep sipping tea. One love. Fifty minutes that I've had this in here. So let's see how this tastes. Ooh. Okay.